that's the the only fix for an air filter it's bolted in so it can't get sucked through um, top's a bit loose for me air could potentially s escape in but I don't think it will the air's being sucked this way could even s escape under there a little bit um, that's kind of the only options really uh, the other option you could do is create something on, on this side but I don't think there's any need um, this casing sandwich is in here I mean there's a gap there so it's not sandwiching it's not holding it but that will be in there I think it'll be fine it's going to get pulled a little bit like this ultimately it is going to filter the air so I've put some air in the tyres it rolls better front brake's quite weak so I need to look at that but I want to look at the brake light switch first up in here um, rear one does work front one does not it could be anything there might not even be a switch there so let me pop this off I can't remember exactly how it comes off but we'll soon find out so here's the switch at immediate face value something's happening I just wonder if that movement is enough I wonder if I press it back does it come on I'm not sure we've got enough battery to see any difference let me let me set you up here you might see it better than me I mean at the moment is the real light even on I can't tell no it's not on. no it should be uh, so uh, well one of them was working wasn't it I can't tell I'm gonna have to look at my own video it's not strong enough for me to uh, I can't see anything back there. I think messing with um, wiring at this stage without the good battery is um, is silly. So I'll have to wait. Uh, or I guess I could hook up to the car. Um, the new battery is coming in a couple of hours. It says it. So I'll just wait for now. Because uh, I know that the rear it was working. It's one thing I checked the other day wasn't it and you can hear that it's it's struggling yeah it's low it's very low the fronts the fronts are on look how low they are okay all right well we'll leave that be for now it's down there let me check the front brake that's mechanical that's something i can check there is fluid in there look why is it feeling so spongy i doubt you're going to see much but it could be that a, a good clean, let's first check that we can get them off, that's good. Wow, pads are great, practically new. Good. Next step is seeing if we can get the uh, the pins out or be a five. Mm. Uh, these pins can be notoriously difficult to get out. Uh, my guess is that I greased them six years ago, but these pads have been done since. Well, I don't know actually, do I? Because the bike appears to have done no mileage, which can't be right. Speedo, I, I lay money the Speedo won't work when I check it, and that's why it hasn't registered any mileage. Yeah, the, like, a little bit of grease on the threads works wonders. Makes this easier to service than uh, a Yamaha Phaser, for example. Good, they're good. Plenty of tread left in them. What's not so good is these pistons. Let's get them punched out a touch. They need a good clean. Right, let's spend a minute. Right, I'm going to keep messing with this. It's going to take a while. I'm going to pop them out, give them a clean pop them back in I probably want to change the fluid okay something that um, that you don't always consider yeah it was a really silly situation with this 
someone had adjusted this throw for the brake, so it really wasn't doing much work, which is why it felt weak. Now I could have messed around with fluids. I've, had, I've topped this up with new fluid anyway, but I could have messed around with new everything, new levers, and actually there's adjustment there for the throw. So I, I need to go in a few more turns and then I need to notch it off. But, um, but it's already stronger now, it's already back to normal now. So I'm gonna push this in a few more turns and lock it off with the right screw. Um, and then of course pop the pistons out, continue to as I'm doing and clean them and put them back in. So it wasn't not working, someone had messed with adjustment that, that w then it wasn't working. I'd also wonder now if this switch is working or not because it's, it, it, it's, it's a better lever, you see. So a um, couple more adjustments on there. Pop them out a bit more, give them a good clean, pop them back in. I think we'd be good to go there. <laughs> so I'm wrapping up for the day. Um, what I'll do is I'll tie down that front brake and it should help the pistons come out. It feels much better already, but it's an MOT fail if you can get it to hit the rail. My guess is that if I strap it down, um, the pistons will come out slowly and then we'll be back to a full firm handle because uh, it's not far off as it is. Uh, that's it really, I'm burnt out, so I'm gonna put it away and uh, we'll come back to it tomorrow uh, or I'll switch over to the YBR exhaust uh, tomorrow, I mean. Cool. The next day. <coughs> Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, last I left you, we tied down this brake cleaver and that hasn't stiffened the brake. So currently this brake is working, okay? This is a working brake. But what it's not doing is it's not solid, it's not rock solid. Um, <clears throat> considering the Dot 4 is six years old, I'd probably be going there next with it. Um, I'd be draining the old out and putting new in. I might actually just undo the bottom banjo, catch it all, catch it all in a um, container, and then uh, suck it through, or even reverse bleed it back in uh, some fresh stuff, and see if that makes a difference. Otherwise, I'd be looking at <coughs> a new master cylinder up here. That this one, something just doesn't feel right about this. In fact, in fact, looking at it, right. Is that the one that come with the bike? It doesn't look like it, does it? How did I miss that? It's not even the same one. So I need to look into this. I'm tempted to find, see if I have a spare one, chuck it on and see if that solves the issue. I feel like it probably will. Uh, second to that, I've got a brand new battery for it, which I'll chuck on, that's all good. And then I can look at the rear lighting because we couldn't quite tell, could we, whether any of the lighting was properly working uh, and everything else kind of seemed okay there it's not that far off an MOT this one uh, one thing I wasn't sure about back here is where is the light for the rear number plate it, it something doesn't seem right um, there is actually spare cables here which two of them which will be power my guess is there needs to be some sort of, I mean, there does need to be some sort of light. I don't know, normally it'd be white down here, you see, and that would, that would be the light. But I think for MOT, I'm gonna have to do something. I have to run a little light that shines. You can get these little round ones actually, and they just shine down on it. Because currently, or I'd probably go straight through the middle. But currently, yeah, it's not lit up, which doesn't make sense. Um, I don't quite get how I might need to go back through my own videos and see what the original was. More work's been done to this bike than I ever thought. It's, uh, it's not the original number plate that I put on either. I'm pretty sure I put on Motorcycle Rescue on mine. That lever's definitely changed, or at least I think it is. Again, I have to go back over my videos. Um, yeah, it's a scrappy little thing, but I think it will run well. Let me just show you what I've done. I know I do a lot off camera. Um, this is just an old master cylinder from a different bike, which would actually work and fit. I'd be happy to use it if I can um, find the retaining clip underneath. At the moment, I'm struggling with that. Uh, but this now, it's hard to show you because it's not 
I think it's probably, but this now is rock solid. Okay, so the pistons are good, the caliper is good. Um, I, look, I'd have to press quite hard to hit the, and if this was seated properly, uh, we can't film it into it, then you can't. So, so a good master cylinder will solve that problem. Um, I haven't got a proper spare in there, which is a shame. Um, this does look a little bit kind of past it. It's all a bit bent at the top and it's probably not sealing properly. Uh, some of them you can give a good clean out. This one doesn't seem to. Um, it's probably a cheap aftermarket part, I, I think. I don't actually know. Uh, but yeah, it's not doing what it should be doing. So this one does. And um, if I could find the clip, I'd use it. I'd, I'd pull it on and leave it because it will go under the cover anyway. Right, let me have a little look just in case. Okay, so I think um, I have to order that. So I think this is now out of commission until that arrives. There's no point carrying on. It, it's likely to come with a brake light switch as well. So I think this is out. Um, I'll push it back in. I've actually got some drill bits to keep drilling out the YBR exhaust if uncovered it yeah um so it's obviously in here that's where we started drilling i've got some bigger bits now i've got a three mil and a five or a four and a half i can't remember and then i've got some um i can tap some new threads in there so this this is going to work i, I have no doubt about that so this bike to an extent could be up could be up and running um that rear brake's a bit useless so uh i want to do a bit of that drilling because the battery don't last very long but if i can get some of it done today then i can switch over tomorrow also let me get that on order so that it's done now saturday morning and then i'm likely to get it tuesday or wednesday might as well film a little bit eh So this drill bit is a uh, this drill bit is a four point five. I think I need a five to, to tap a five. I'm not sure actually. Ooh. So we're jumping from three to four point five now. Yeah, we're actually, yeah, we're exactly the same. That's good. Let me see if I've got a five. If I can tap it to a five, then I put a five. Then a, a five will fit and that's spot on. That's actually ready. So I think the most ideal situation works here. Um, I've got a cut off piece. It absolutely goes in. Right, let's see how far we can go. I want to make sure I'm at the angle I drill that, which is uh, this angle. There you go. Absolutely biting. Lovely. Um, what I want to do is find a nut for that. You know, to make sure. And then you'll wind the nut on. Um, this is just the first nut I picked up. It might not be correct. Um, but yeah, if I find a nut for it, then I can, I can chop it. So, oh, why am I zoomed in? So I'm happy with that. So I'm all the way in and to the back. I've got plenty of thread lock in there. I'm going to just wash off any of the external there. I've got these nuts on because I'm going to chop at some point, and after chopping, I'll need to. Um, wind these out to make sure the thread's good for the new exhaust and then um, the exhaust will eventually be a slide on slide on here and nip up bolt in there and it will definitely be a full-time fix 
and then when people take the exhaust off that's a fixed stud and that's of course one that comes out good i'm happy with that